Alright, do you want me to spectate this one and try to help you out? Nah, we could just fucking play it, dude. That's not fun for you. It is kind of fun for me to spectate, to be honest. I don't care if I lose. Am I in your party still? You are. Okay. Yeah, you have to already up the... How the fuck does one do that? Click on party, click on the green check mark. Got it. You sure you don't want me to spectate? Yeah, just play. I now at least... I like, All I need to do is understand the uh, basics of the game. Now I know I just create a bunch of heroes that are the same as the hero of like a class I want to run. Mm -hmm. And then the tactics of positioning I'll learn later. But for right now, I'm just going to pick one. I'm going to pick whatever I have two of in my first one. That's what I'm riding the whole damn time. So you, you can only buy one unit in your first one. Yeah, well, that was... I picked the wrong unit to buy. Fuck it. Venomancer is not the worst unit in the game. Yeah, but I'm running his class, whatever they're called. Savages are you getting You want warlocks. Ranty. You want warlocks, warlocks over getting... savages. <laughs> warlocks are getting ran. Savages bad. <laughs> Sounds cool. You will not win with savages. You can try if you want. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to try. If you get an early lone druid and an early lycan, it could be good. Uh, chainmail, blight, vitality. Chainmail. Chainmail scales really well. It's gonna it's gonna be pretty mediocre in the early stages, but the later on the game goes, the better it is. Basically, you just find the unit with the highest amount of health and put the chainmail on it. Uh, I should probably get the warlock for the warlock build, huh? Probably. Warlock's a shitty unit, but it will be mediocre for you in the early game, and you can sell it later for an actual unit. So the thing is with warlocks, it's kind of a supporting class. So typically you only ever want like Warlock 4 at most. And then you want the rest of your units to be something different. So what should I complement this with? Any other class pretty much. And it kind of depends on what Warlocks you roll. Like if you get DPS Warlocks then you want like Frontline class. But if Blink you get... Dagger, Aegis of the Immortal. Aegis is safe but Blink Dagger is probably better for you. If you, get, get if you get a Witch Doctor, put the Blink Dagger on the Witch Doctor. Tusk, Tiny, Beast, Beast, Timber. Any of these recommend being my other class? Mm, you could go for Timber Saw. Sounds cool to me. Try to buy the other... Try to buy Tinker. If you get Tinker, then you can just look so, for like really thick Warlocks. So Tinker and Warlocks are my two classes I'm going for a little bit. Alright, I like it. Tinker is actually a unit. A tinker... Oh, like the actual unit? Oh, that says Inventor, not Tinker. Yeah. Okay, well... it, I think it was called Tinker in the original game. Alright, um, my, should I put my Chainmail on my Tanky Timbersaw? Yeah, and then yep. Blink Dagger, should that go on my Warlock or my... Probably a Warlock. Or, okay. Basically smuggler with Blink... or Brooch? Or smuggler. Chainmail? Smuggler, smuggler, definitely. If you get Smuggler that early, that's insane. It's a global. Okay. Um, so, mana on my Venom or whatever the other one's called. Um, on one of your Warlocks. Basically, Blink Dagger makes you ult almost immediately. Gotcha. So, yeah. you just want to put it on the thing that you want to ult immediately. Alright, so Tink. Which is a warlock because it heals everybody when it ults. So, should I, what other class should we go? Should I go with one that complements a timber saw? If you find it. Timber saw is kind of expensive to get this early, which is why I suggest you pick it up. And at worst, you can just sell it all and, <laughs> and go something different. Timber saw is a good unit, I should say, at this point in the game. And it's honestly not terrible later either. It's one of the better ones of that class. You're gonna lose this round probably, but it's okay. Uh, so many chickens, my ass, goddamn. <laughs> All right, so timber saw is not the play. Got it. Probably not, but sometimes if you can, if you roll into it lucky, it's sick. I got ogre magi, venomancer, muffling bloodseeker. Should I just get a venomancer for another warlock? Sounds good. And you already have a Venomancer, remember, so... Yeah, and then... Should I go... I just don't know what to do. Treant Protector, is that not a good... 
Treatment Protector is a good unit if you get a second druid to activate it. Try it, it looks cool. What's he do? He heals himself, that's his ultimate. Oh, this this guy's just gonna dick me. I'm not giving her. Okay, he has a level two tiny already. What the fuck? Typically, at this stage of the game, you're expected to have level two unless you're unlucky. Well, I'm sure shit sure unlucky because I haven't seen any damn warlocks. There's only a few that you can buy this early. Okay, so druid is the other druid to mix with it. So druid warlock class. Let's do it. That is a lot of healing. There is some strong meme potential there. I love it. Uh, that's all I'm in this for. Alright. Oh, but I just got another Tinker. Fuck. <laughs> God damn it, do I Timber Saw Tinker now? I don't know. Illy, I really need you to help me out here. I'm, I'm thinking. I'm also trying to not screw up uh, I just got another Timber Saw, so that was easy enough. Okay. Sick. There you go. You probably shouldn't be re-rolling this early, but... Alright, getting fucking owned in the face currently. Alright, we're gonna get there though. Alright, so one problem with what so I So you want this to... treant protector in the front line. Yeah, I meant to put it there. One thing I fucked up on is when I got super excited, I forgot to actually buy the tinkerer, so I fucked up on that part. <laughs> so we are tinkerer down right now. That's alright though, it's alright though, it's alright. We got a clockwork. See, it worked out. Get it? It worked. Oh. This clockwork. Right, I can't use anything with these. All right, let's put this clockwork in for. Is clockwork tanky at all? Mhm. Mm okay, I'm gonna put him in for the triant guy. I'm getting rid of this triant bitch. Sorry, dude. Yep, that's probably fine. We're going. Oh, a, a noob. It looks. He has. We meet. Yep, definitely a noob because I'm winning. <laughs> <laughs> winning early rounds doesn't matter. All right, can you let me like, take my one W here, like, and not take it from me? <laughs> I mean, Ooh, that's some healing, buddy. That's yeah. some memeable healing right there, buddy, old pal. All right, all right, all right. Let's start getting some items. So what is this? Quality of hi items from neutral rounds are offered from one wave higher. Don't you already uh, have that one? No, I was seeing what it actually said. They never really explained it to me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, well Lycan looks cool. Mm -hmm. It's a good unit. But it doesn't work for my comp. Well, nothing I can really do here. All right. Yep, <laughs> sometimes that happens. <laughs> Should I be spending gold and XP or not yet? Not yet. If you don't have to spend money, you pretty much just don't, especially not in the early rounds. The only time you uh, should ever be actually oh, this shit, this guy's level five. This yeah, some people force five, but they don't understand that it doesn't matter. It's like they'll get early wins, but they'll lose economy for it in the long run, and they won't win. Dude, okay, uh, that take what's it called? Uh, clockwork. That mm -hmm. guy's kind of dope. Clockwork's pretty decent. <laughs> All right, getting dicked, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> well, that doesn't help me at all. Oh, I can put, I can put this in though. Free roll. Oh, two warlocks. Let's go. And another clockwork. Let's put another frontliner. Should I do another frontliner or another healer? They all synergize. I don't know. No, I'm, I'm not, facing I'm not the sure. worst rank guy. I'm facing the worst rank guy in this lobby, so if I lose. It's well, possible that you will. Yeah, actually, I'm probably going to lose this. I'm getting owned. Wow, I'm the worst player in this whole lobby. Maybe. I just got fucking decimated. 
All right, let's switch this out. Let's try this brawl, huh? Ogre Magi would not be good for me, right? No, that's actually a bad unit in 99.9% .9 of cases. Like Shadow even in the Fiend. compact. Shadow Fiend seems good. Shadow Fiend's a good unit, you want that unit. Why'd sure. I get that devil icon on my screen? Because he is a demon. Basically, if there's only one demon in play, then that demon does bonus damage. Well, you'll be my only demon. Oh, that heal! That clutch ass heal! Let's go, baby. Is uh, Shadow Fiend a DPS or a... DPS. It's one of the squishiest units in the game. Blade Mail, Helm of the Undying, Brute. Helm, Assuming probably. Helm of the Undying? Yeah. yeah. I don't know who this goes on, though. Me neither, but you probably want it. <laughs> I'm, I'm putting on my Venom answer because I feel like he's the most damage right now. Sounds good. Eventually, you'll want it on your... Uh, um, Duder McDuderson. Shadow Fiend, that's the one. Should I put it, I'm just gonna put it on now then. So I'll forget later. Uh, I shouldn't be spending my money on rerolls. Probably not. You should. I mean, realistically, we should all be at like 20 money at this point in the game. Alright, this whole like. Okay, who's Bo Ult? Is that? Mm -hmm. uh, Kunkka. That's a 4 cost unit. It's really, really rare to get it this early. Wonderful. Alright, so I actually bought the uh, Shadow Fiend. Uh, not Shadow Fiend, the. Uh... Terror Blade. Terror Blade. Mm -hmm. That's not good for my comp, right? Uh, it could be, but probably not at this point. Alright, I'm gonna sell it then. There's a pretty strong argument that Terra Blade's good in every comp, but that's another matter entirely, really. In all likelihood, you'll never want it. You'd only want it if you had, like, Terra Blade 2, Anti Mage 2, which normally you go for if you're really try harding. I just got another Terra Blade right as I sold my other one. Clap and face. Level 2 Terra Blade has to be pretty good. Oh, I'm playing against Italy. This won't go well. You have a level 3 unit. Are you dicking me? Like, how? That is the druid passive, which basically just means that whenever you have two druids in play, a lowest tier druid unit gains a tier. So I have two two-star units, and because one, they're both druids, they uh, they pop up to druid rank 3, which is really good early and falls off really hard in the late game. Suck my free damage, baby. Yeah, you you saved yourself two damage by killing that unit. Alright, getting kind of dicked. It's alright though. Not even wow, that was the worst reroll in the history of man fucking kind. Oh, you should not be rerolling. It didn't cost gold. It was free. Oh right, the free roll. Right, I always forget about that. So that clockwork is probably your weakest unit, and you probably want that tinker in play over the clockwork. Okay. And you can take the blink dagger off of your uh, warlock unit and put the warlock in the front line. The reason for that is it's probably your tank is tankiest unit right now because it's level two. And it'll get oh its ult off faster. Oh my god! the fucking win one. Holy dick yeah, and dude, balls! You got it. Breaks your losing streak, unfortunately, which isn't great for the for the economy thing. But all right, okay. So put my tinker in for my clockwork. Mm -hmm. Put the chainmail on the timber saw, and uh, switch the positioning of the tinker and the warlock, and put the blink dagger on literally anything else. Literally anything else. Got it.
uh, blink dagger on literally anybody else. I'll put it on my viper because it doesn't have anything. It does a lot of damage. Eventually, you'll want that blink dagger on something frontline-y and warlock-y. But okay. you don't want it to be on your warlock because you want this tinker to not get hit. Because tinker's probably the best unit in the mechs at this point. There's two five star mech unit, five cost mech units that are really sick, but you're obviously never getting those until the late game. Up until that point, Tinker's the best unit, and Tinker is the one that you won't most want to get to three stars. Okay. So, but I'm good with the way my thing is right now. The way you're positioned, yeah. yeah okay. And but and you said I want my blink dagger not on my Tinker, right? On a warlock, that's not the warlock. Yep. Really, that Warlock's going to get sold as soon as you get, like, a decent front line. Like, as, as soon as you get, like, Shadow, or, like, Witch Doctor plus one. Like, a four-cost Warlock. But... Okay, Should I put so... my Helm of the Undying on my Viper and put the mana thing on my one guy? You can do that. Wow, those things just fucking caked me. Holy shit. Oh, yeah, you have to reposition for this round. Sorry, I didn't I didn't mention it. Uh I forgot. Actually I might I actually want it. We're good. <laughs> oh nice, you got lucky. Alright. So what was I doing? Putting blink dagger on Viper. No, helm of a dying on Viper. Blink dagger on Shadow Fiend. Oh, I put on the Tinker. Helm of Undying, Mask of Madness, Maelstrom. I'm trying to think what unit you'd put Mask of Madness on. Because it seems sick. Mask of Madness is insane. You you'll eventually have a unit you want it on. I don't know what unit. I, I just picked Skull Basher. Whatever. Not really the one I wanted, but. Unit pain. Skull. I playing you? No, you're not. I just feel like every time I start off by getting owned, I just assume I'm playing. No. I wish you could tell these guys how to like prioritize a target because this character has been one fucking health this whole damn time and it's pissing me off. Yeah, that's the RNG aspect of it. Oh, that guy had Necrophos. You're probably never gonna win that. Uh, okay, so Mask of Madness, the last person it should go on is a Warlock unit because you really need your Warlock units to ult. <sighs> so tinker sure yeah better than one of those probably the one in your back line but it doesn't really matter oh my god the amount of terror blades and dragon knights i have gotten holy oh, shit that's unfortunate dragon knight's a good unit too like i've gotten two dragon knights now and then this is my fourth terror blade That Shadow Fiend ult's kind of cool. Yeah, Shadow Fiend ult's insane. I don't know what it does, but it looks really cool. It does damage in an AoE around it. Damn. I almost got that. I would have won that if I had a little bit more time to throw another character in there. Okay. I'm gonna lose or fuck again, but who cares? I'm gonna smoke this pen.
let this be known, that's my third Dragonite in a row. <laughs> that's very unfortunate for you. I want to die a little bit inside. Oh, Disruptor. That's a Warlock, and that looks really good. So I'm gonna yeah, you that want in. that unit. So do I, actually. I'm going to buy that unit, too. <laughs> Should I have my Blood Fury Mask thingy on it? No, Disruptor, you... Disruptor results probably your Blink Dagger. This guy's got a level 3 Razor with 2,000 health. It looks that's... unkillable as fuck. Razor's a really good unit to get to level 3. Yeah, that's that's tough right there. <laughs> that's like an instant L, okay. Alright, so you said Blink Dagger goes on that character? Boom, and that... Can my blood mask do go on Shadow Fiend? Is that good or no? Because you want his that, ult. Yeah, it's it's not terrible, I guess. You probably shouldn't have gone Mask of Menace. I just assumed that there was going to be something. You can honestly put it on one of your frontliners, and it's not the end of the world. You know, pains. Oh, that's a fucking god. Lone Druid looks lit too. God damn it. I wish I had a Lone Druid. Feels bad. Has come from the Night School Ravine. Damn, he silences all that many people. That's what yeah. that's. And that's why his ult's so good. If you get that silence off quick, you can just win a fight right off the right off the get go. I don't like this one, I'm just losing the fight. <sighs> oh yeah, your boy's gonna be dead real s- <laughs> That was 15 health, god damn. Um... Not looking good. Boy, all right, these are all horrific. All right, I actually just made a really big play to bolster my army, so hopefully this works. You got that Warlock Force energy. Oh, and you put out the second T2 Warlock, which is really good. And I got a Tier 2 Tinker. Oh, I yeah. I literally just all the T2 Tinker is insane. Yeah. T2, t what, tier what tier 3 Tinker is the most broken, though. You really want that. You're going to lose the round, but it's okay. What do you get? What do you lose for losing those? Uh, you get worse yes. items. Gotcha. Um, what's. What should my Tinker have? Should I have any of my items on it? Bracer, Desperation, Arcane Boots, or Mechanism? Mm, arcane Boots, probably. What about Mechanism? It heals. Yeah, you can get that if you want. Yes! I don't know. It's probably not good. I never <laughs> should listen to you, but it sounds really cool. Alright, anyway. Is there any item I th you think I should have on my... Um... I would... On which one? Your Tinker? You want... Helm of the Undying, probably, on it. Helm of the Undying. Put the Mask of Manus on one of the two Warlocks, probably, and then the Mechanism on the Shadow Fiend. Put the Shadow Fiend in the middle. Alright, yep, you're gonna just repeat everything you yep. just said, unless I die right here. You won't die from 21. Probably. Yeah, I won't die here, but it'll be close. So put your Mask of Madness on one of your sh one of your Warlocks, the one without the chainmail on it. Okay. And then switch the Warlock with Mask of Madness and the Shadow Fiend's positioning. Keep the Mask of Madness up? Yeah. Alright, I just got lo another level 2 Venomancer, though. Uh, never mind, I can just level up and get him on. Let's go! Oh, I'm learning! 
I'm learning. Did you see that? Yeah. Oh, I just got Marana. Are you fucking... Marana's a really good unit. I'm going her. Alright, I shouldn't have anything on my Shadow Fiend, though, item-wise. Yeah, you really or want... should I put Mechanism? You want an attack... Mechanism? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, Mechanism on us for now is right. fine. But you want an attack speed item on them, really. Attack speed item I or mean, attack I'm, damage. I look, it looks like we're gonna lose this one. Oh, actually... Uh, yeah, it looks like... Oh, this is actually going to be the closest dick. This is actually going to be close-ish. I think I actually have it. No, no. Don't kill him. Don't kill him. Yes, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Alright, uh, so yeah, mechanism I can put on that. Uh-huh. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, God, this is so much thinking, bro. <laughs> so what does mechanism do? Heals in an AoE. Should I put on that character who's going to lose health quick? Put him on the carrot. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's that's actually probably correct. Uh, Keeper of the light. Yeah. You I'm don't want that you. unit, unfortunately. But I mean, you can go it if you want. But no, I wasn't. I was just just using the big units I want right now. Honestly, should I be like spending all my money because I'm gonna lose fucking soon? Yep. Okay. Well, those some of those characters are kind of good. Dude, okay, Doom looks like a beast. Doom is mediocre. He's like a really good 3 cost, but he costs 4. So, <laughs> he's like a desperation yeah. unit. Yeah, I didn't get that ult off early enough. GG. More than likely. Oh yeah, he's got 5 units up, easily. Ass eaten. Well, I'm fucking addicted. <laughs> Hold up, I'm gonna go see if I have any food because I'm hungry as <coughs> shit, Rack. Got this. You can do it, Marana. I believe in you. Never mind. <laughs> okay, positioning is bad, probably. Well, definitely. You should never be frontline. Necrophos is just going to be better. Oof. Where does this cooldown need to go? Probably Marana. KB. We're gonna give the BKB to you. We'll switch those two. Uh, 
that's really good. Needless to say. He's only got eight kills, but hopefully that'll go up. At least it should. He got four this round. Alone. So go ahead and buy the switch doctor now. So why did I die so much quicker this time? Uh just better players. I'm not sure. You might have gotten unlucky. You were also going for a decidedly weirder comp than just like assassins. True. Which is yeah, positioning actually matter. Yeah. Which you definitely don't have. <sighs> Fuck me. I shouldn't have gone for this. Oh, I got so lucky. How long do you think your game's gonna be? Uh, I just got a couple of really sick units, so... <laughs> uh, so I'd rather it. watch you play than fucking shit sh on and I'm eating, so... I just got two of the most important three-star units to get. At some cost, because I had to reroll quite a bit, but... Uh, how's my economy doing, actually? It's pretty garbage. <laughs> my economy is pretty, pretty garbage. We'll do what we can here. Barani hunters with some side of troll, maybe if I can toss this this guy in. Actually, I wonder if he is better than Disruptor or Necrophos. He might be better than Necrophos just because of the troll passive. If I can get him level two, I will leave him in. I always wonder who thinks of shit like this. this game's creative. Ah, shit. I don't want to roll down anymore. I sh I've already spent too much money. I gotta let it slide and kind of hope this works. I don't know if the Necrophos being in is worth more than the Troll Passive, but the Troll Passive's gonna hit this Troll Warlord, which is the only reason why I'm even considering it. And the stuns are nice. Yeah, I, I think it was worth it. It's pretty close, though. I could definitely see argument either way, because Necrophos is the better unit. Which is the little green guy on my bench here. And then this guy, he's a 2 cost. This is a 4 cost. But I put the 2 cost in over the 4 cost because it has a specific synergy with trolls. And this guy is one of the best units in the game who gets increase attack speed every time he attacks and if he increases attack speed at the start then he attacks faster and then you know more attacks equal more attacks and i just got another one oh come to daddy what's the best kind of comp right now probably most like of them right. are pretty viable like i'm saying like right now like it's like a game that has a well-established meta uh, from, from what I understand, it kind of does. Really? Because there's lots of people that play it and take it seriously. Uh, from what I understand, it's pretty much anything with, like, Terrorblade Anti-Mage plus insert good comp here, which is probably Knights. If I had to, if I had to put my finger on one, I'd probably say Knights. But there's other ones that are really good as well. Like, the one I'm going right now, I got kind of lucky and rolled into midway through the game is Brawny's. And these units can just get really, really tanky really, really quick and be almost unkillable. Because they get HP for every kill they get. So oh, this guy's yeah. sitting here with 28 kills. Multiply that by f by 60. That's the amount of extra health he gets. Which is a lot. <laughs> As you can imagine. That's fucking cool. Is that just a level 3 axe? Yeah. Yeah, level 3 Axe, level 3 Jug, level 3 Beastmaster. Like, if I had to pick 3 units to make level 3 in this comp, those would be it. The fact that I got them is just crazy. I'm gonna buy this Alchemist as well. If I can get... If I can get Warlock 4... Like, that's God, like that my super game. Yeah, these are... 
this isn't this is a hard one. This you have to kill this middle mob first. And then the other two don't heal anymore. But you have to kill the middle one first without your entire team dying. This troll warlord, I mean look at him. He did a cool eleven K. I don't know which one that is. This guy. Oh the back back left hand. Back corner. left. Oh yeah. And I just got the moon shark. Star. Is he like a high gold unit? Yeah, it's a five cost. Oh, okay, so he's OP inherently. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, okay. I was about to say, like, that's not right. My little knowledge of this game says that shouldn't be correct. <laughs> a one star shouldn't be good. Unless. So I'm definitely about to download this on my fucking phone, god damn it. I'm one unit off of getting Disruptor 2, or Marana 2, and Witch Doctor 2, and Warlock, and Warlord 2. And then I'm a lot of gold off of putting these units in. But we're getting there. This guy's got a good comp. But I think I might be able to beat it with this Warlord. He's back here, like, just... <laughs> Look at him. Look at him. He's just like... <laughs> Let's see here. Oh, my Beastmaster actually did a cool 9k as a 3-star. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's 3.1. You playing one more after this? Oh, probably. Yes, let's go. <laughs> like, I, this is the game like I refuse to play by myself. For yeah, like no, I feel you. Damn, you guys are... You need to level up, buddy. Yeah, I do. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna buy this Necrophos. I'm gonna get a Necrophos two, but I'm gonna keep the Witch Doctor one in, which is almost certainly wrong. But I want to just lean on this Warlord. We silenced out the Queen of Pain. She didn't get to ult, and his Gyrocopter has not ulted yet either. Which is pretty good. As yeah, Gyro ulted at the end, but it was too late. Yeah, I can see why that would be fucking effective if it hit your whole team, though. Yep, it's a five cost unit with a really good ultimate. But it's hard to, hard to get sometimes. Hard to get good. In a, like in a spot where it's actually useful, kind of thing. It doesn't get mana very quickly. I want that. Disruptor 2 is crazy good. I don't think I want to reposition anything. Except maybe... Put in the Necros. No, because I want the Troll Synergy. Damn, you have so many of these like lined up. You have two Troll, three Archer, two yeah. Warlock. God, you're good at this. You're good at this game, buddy. I kind of, I've been brainstorming this comp for a while, like, this is not new. <laughs> this one's just kind of fun, because you get to click on your Juggernaut and say, oh, it has 4,300 health. <laughs> like, oh, sweet. That's Dude, that's fun. nuts that your Disruptor just got that old. Oh, no, he didn't die. Now he died. My Juggernaut's still there, though. And look at this Troll Warlord. We're gonna lose a round, but <laughs> this is goofy, dude. This is goofy. Look at that, six k. Well, five point five, but Because this is round 34, so round 35 is next, which is a creep round, so I don't want to force into the creep round. And I'm not going to take 30, so I'm going to I'm gonna sit here, maybe lose the round, be okay about it. And then after the creep round, I'm going to force to level 9, so I can put this Necrophos in. And 
that guy had a Witch Doctor 3, which is why I'm having trouble finding it. And he's got a Lich. I still beat him, though. It's actually pretty good. Didn't expect to beat him. Do I want Alchemist over Shadow Friend? Probably. Kills armor. Armor. Armor death is good death. Okay, let's not get one shot by the dragon. So now you're gonna force them. Oh, you have to beat this because you're. Yeah, you have yeah to so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait for the round to start. That way my interest gets calculated at 50. And then after that, then once the round ends, I'm gonna force to level 9. And I'm at 14 out of 32. So that is 16, so it's four levels, so it'll cost me 20 gold. Is it dragon spawn point random each time or no? No, it's always the same. All the NPC spawn points are the same every time. Kind of fucking on that dragon. Yeah, troll warlord makes it easy. Oh god, yes. He's got one of the best units in the game. A unit? Uh, items, rather. Divine Rapier. It's on my troll warlord. Holy dick and balls. It does some damage. <laughs> you lose a round to another player, they get the Divine Rapier? Well, that's unfair. It, it kind of sucks as far as that's concerned, but uh, it's worth it. <laughs> It, so. it does plus 330 attack damage. So, in theory, you shouldn't be losing. Right. <laughs> That's the idea, anyway. Now, just don't lose. Because this unit is now my most important unit on the entire field. Like, if that Troll Warlord dies, I'm real sad. What if you win and he dies, you still keep it, right? Yep. Well, considering he's one-shotting everything, I don't <laughs> yeah. see that being an issue. <laughs> It really is. <laughs> Divine Rapier is insane. I could also put my I could also put a second Troll Warlord out, in, instead of this Necrophos. But the healing is really good since I've got units with a ton of health stacked. If I didn't have Brawnies, then I would 100% be putting out this Troll Warlord. Forcing 10 for me is good here. I'm not realistically getting another level 3. Um, how much money does it cost? It cost me 36, which is 9, which is too much. So I need to wait like a round. Then I think I can. Math is hard. These guys both have 4 and 12. 36 Love. divided by 4. It's 9. Yeah, so 9 times 5 is 45 money. So I need 45 money. So I'm going to force to level 10 next round. You realize you're just going to like win inherently, right? Maybe. But I'd like it to be a certainty. And I think I stand a better chance of beating him at at level level 10 rather than having a chance of getting another troll warlord all right got the witch doctor that's pretty good and otherwise yep. he got right. chaos knight that was it <laughs> yeah we're, we're chilling i beat this guy several times now he got mask of madness troll warlord which is a little spooky but it's I don't think he beats me with trolls. <laughs> That's, his comp is trolls, and oh, by the way, I have some knights. My comp is brawnies with archers and healing. And he definitely doesn't have Ristol, which is an item that reduces healing. No, he doesn't, so there's no way I lose. So unless he has Aegis of the Immortal, I win the game. There we go. <laughs> 